Brendan Gale joins us. G'day, Brendan. Hi, KB. Good to be with you. Now, off to play in India. Now, when I was when I was playing for the Tigers, even going down to Geelong <laughs> seemed a long, long way to go. <laughs> What's brought this on, that Tigers yeah. are going to play the Giants in India? No, it's, uh, it's getting a bit ahead of themselves, I think. But, look, we've, we've made no secret of the fact that we want to really tap in um, the Indian community here in, in, in Melbourne and Victoria, which is a very significant one. In the last 18 months, we've been involved in a few initiatives to, to you know, build some of those linkages in the community. And we think that makes good sense for, as, a, as a society in the city, but also good footy sense. We want to build our club and get lots of supporters. And, um, and we think, you know, Indians are sports mad. And we think um, um, uh, Richmond Footy Club's got plenty to offer. The MCG, home of footy, all that sort of stuff. Uh, I think down the track, we, we thought it would be fantastic to really demonstrate our sincerity, you know, uh, in this space by, by perhaps playing an exhibition game in, uh, in India, in Mumbai. Um, and I guess for the last 12 months we've been looking at that, um, initially with Essendon, um, and um, about, most recently JWS have come out and, and I guess indicated their interest. Now, um, still a long way to go, and obviously the, the health and safety and security of our, of our players is, is a paramount concern, as is the cost of such a project. So, a lot of work to be done yet. Okay, because a lot of people uh, just added on to this that Raul Dravid was down there at the Tigers training during the summer uh, when the Boxing Day test was on and, yeah. and you got this new, newly newfound affiliation with India over the past couple of months and uh, this, is a, this is a given, but uh, it's a pipe dream at the moment. Look, it's been, we've been working away for a long time and um, you know, we had a presence at the Diwali Festival, which is a very important festival for Indians um, late last year. Raul Dravid is a patron of our Indian Supporters Program, and he did come down to, to Putt Road and have a look around the MB Bank Centre. Um, a terrific fella. Didn't help him get any runs, though. But, uh, <laughs> but uh, So these sorts of things we've been looking at, um, uh, really tapping into the Indian community here. And, 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 and there's many of them, and they love sport. And we think, as the Tigers, um, it's a very important powerful secular symbol in India. We've got something to offer and, and um, a, a way of, I guess, engaging in the community here. So down the track, um, it'd be great to play an exhibition game. A lot of work to do, yes. Um, um, we've got a couple of uh, my colleagues in India at the moment with a Premier Value and a trade mission with 200 Australian businesses looking to expand their markets as they're meeting a whole range of Indian businesses looking to grow a presence in Australia too. So uh, we think down the track, if you, if you really build your credentials in this space, um, there's some really powerful commercial opportunities to explore as well. But, um, but, you know, one step at a time. We have seen games in the past. I think Collingwood played Adelaide in Dubai a, a few years back and that Melbourne have been across, uh, I think, to China. They played Brisbane in an exhibition game over there. And we know we've played games over in London, but I'm not quite certain whether much has, has come out of those uh, forays into those, uh, those countries. Yeah, well, that's true. And that's something you need to sort of take into consideration. Um, but I guess we think, with 150,000 Indian students living in Melbourne, um, you know we think sport, in particular AFL in this country, has got a really powerful ability to, to bring people together and communities together. Um, and we think the Richmond Football Club we've got some, a, an important role to play in that to start with. And and down the track, um, we think there's possibly um, you know strong commercial opportunities. But I think you really need to build your credentials in the space. You just can't fly in and, and fly out and. Um, um, expect just things to drop. You've got to build your credentials, and and we think we're doing that step by step, and um, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Some of the SMS is saying I'm from India. I've been following uh, the AFL for four years, uh, the game, and uh, good to see that uh, maybe they'll be playing there. So this is what you're hoping to do: is to get the Indian community on board for 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 the Tigers. And uh, we we have seen uh, one thing. One of the things mentioned in the article today is that uh, we see the Indians at the cricket. I mean, they, they love their sport and they get really involved in it. So if you do get a few on board, it'll it'll uh, it'll make for a raucous uh, outer. Yeah, look, you do. I mean, the, the, the 2020 and um, the one days of the MCG, you know, crowds were around 60,000. Um, well, if there weren't half from India, I'll, I'll go, hey, it was, uh, you know, they're very passionate, they love sport, and it's pretty fair to say they don't know a lot about AFL here. But um, I think, you know, as we've seen for many, many years, AFL is, is the sport that brings communities together. Um, that's not just Richmond, that's all clubs. do a wonderful power of work in the community and, and through the country generally. So... Um, that's where we're starting. It's a very much a locally driven, I guess, strategy. And but at the end of the day, KB, it's about football and, and winning games of football and ultimately winning premierships. But you need a strong uh, financial platform. You need strong commercial consumer support. And I think we've got to be 
extremely innovative, even looking at ways to sort of build that strength. Well, if you're looking for uh, any coach, uh, maybe the Giants with uh, Kevin Sheedy, he's the one to get on board because this is what Kevin Sheedy had to say about the AFL needs to help uh, and uh, expect uh, the game to go internationally. And this is what he said last year in November. It's only an idea, and you always try to keep people putting up ideas because you never know when the next best idea is the best idea. This makes you think about it all. But I'm just saying to you, 21 men and only 12 million of those Australians follow AFL. We need to help from the international um, uh, countries in the next quarter of a century. We are, have been playing this game for 152 or three years. Why don't we actually do something that might take it the next step? And, and, and you call it a junket, and I'm saying, no, this is serious for four points. Then you can't ever call it a junket. So Kevin Shea's even talking about playing games for four points. Yeah, look, that's well down the track. Um, um, but uh, you know, like, I... I I appreciate the spirit of, of Kevin's comments and, you know, he certainly led the way in risk-taking innovation. And I, I guess, yeah, that's the spirit we're trying to sort of adopt at the club. Um, you know, if we just follow what everyone else has been doing, we'll um, we'll probably stay where we, we've been. We've got to be prepared to take a few considered risks and, and be innovative. And, and look, I can imagine the ASL, it's, you know, they're trying to manage a, a national competition, a growing competition with limited resources. And... Um, um, but it's important they can't have an ad hoc approach to to things um, like this and issues. Mm. So, so we're pretty um, we're pretty buoyed by the opportunity, and um, but we understand there's a lot of work. And at first instance, it's about building our credibility and those genuine linkages to the community locally. Brendan Gale has joined us to see the Tigers. Uh, I've been talking this morning about the NAB Cup, but to me, I, I thought the first round of matches were a bit bland. Uh, it seemed to me that they were like intra-club games. I'm not quite certain how fired up uh, any of the clubs are. To me, it just uh, just seems to lack a little bit of oomph, a bit of urgency in, in the first round of matches. Uh, what's your thoughts on that? Oh, look, I, I watched a bit of footy. Uh, I never got a chance to much... I uh, watch much over the weekend. Uh, certainly the first um, round um, and, and our game, <laughs> there's always something at stake when you're playing the Tigers. And mate, our guys went out and had a crack and um, were, were bitterly disappointed to lose to the Kangas. Um, and, uh, but I, I thought it showed a lot of spirit and, um, and the way they overcome um, um, the Hawks. So, uh, look, I, you know, it's, a, it's very important for us when you consider we're way on the ladder. We're a, we're a club that's trying to climb and off the field as well. So, um no, we will, we, we've um, we've been competing very seriously, and we'll continue to do so. There's what two hundred thousand dollars up for grabs if you win it. Yeah, around it, just shy mm. of that. But yeah, obviously, um, um, make a significant impact on our finances, KB. That sort of money. But uh, look, it's it's about um, continuing to refine our game plans. It's about putting games in a, to our kids, and we saw a few of those. Last week, we'll see some more of this Sunday against Fremantle, but it's about winning too. And, um, you know, we're certainly trying to win, that's for sure. Yeah, you may not have seen this incident, but I, I, I was canvassing this this morning on the program. Uh, Josh Hunt uh, playing, uh, that was Sydney uh, playing against Geelong, and Josh Hunt, he, he, won't get, uh, he won't get rubbed out for it or anything like that, but uh, he picked up a player, Luke Park, I think it was, and uh, gave him uh, a sling tackle and, uh, and dumped him uh, on his shoulder. He could have dumped him on his head, but uh, I just wonder what, have you got any opinion on the sling tackle? I just think one day with the players being so powerful and so strong that someone's going to have their neck broken? Oh, look, I... I, um, I mean, the, the, I guess the safety of players is paramount. And um, I think, um, you know, players have, have got a responsibility. Sure, they play within the rules and, and um, in respect for the safety of players. And so, um, no, I think increasingly, you know, I guess the ballistic capacity of players and they're very strong. I think it's an issue, definitely. Uh, Richmond, uh, you play Fremantle next at uh, Patterson Stadium uh, next Sunday and also got the Family Day coming up also on March the 11th and Punt Road, so that should be a big day as well. But Fremantle will be a good test for the Tigers, uh, travelling over there and uh, and also playing against, uh, well, you would think a fired-up uh, Ross Lyon. I would have thought so. Uh, um, yeah, they're a team on the, on the uh, what everyone's suggesting. They'll be bouncing back this year, obviously um, putting aside their coaching change. They... They uh, had some uh, pretty rough luck with injuries, so um, you know, with a strong and healthy list, um, they'll be a very big challenge. So it'll be a great experience for us. To, some of the young kids wouldn't have travelled before. A big ground, um, heat forecast, so um, it'll be a great challenge. Um, mm. We did beat them pretty comfortably um, last year, although it was at the MCG um, when they were in the top four, um, I think, early in the season. But no, it'll be a 
it'll be a big test, that's for sure. Well, to be a member of the Tigers, all you do is go to the website, www.membership.richmondfc.com.au. Uh, what's, how's it tracking at the moment for yeah, the Tigers? It's going really well, KB. It's, uh, you know, we're about 2,000 ahead of last year's um, total, um, um, year to year. So, uh, you know, that, that would... Um, put us on sort of club record pace. We'd set ourselves a goal of 50,000 and, and I'm confident we'll get there. But I, I just think, you know, the Lordy and commitment our supporters never ceases to amaze me. And, um, you know, I think it's really important we see some more improvement this year. And, and I think we improve at the same rate as we did last year. It puts us in the realm of that finals, um, um, I guess, log jam with a bunch of other clubs. But, uh, you know, it's really important we're going to continue to improve. And, and also, KB, you mentioned the, the family day. Um, first year, uh, first time back at Punt Road in, um, in in many years because of construction. So fans can come down and see the ME Bank Centre and um, back at Punt Road will be fantastic.